Welcome back, everybody, to Not Road to GM. This is how to beat the Alakines defense, y'all. And the only reason I know about this opening is shout out to Will Taylor Chess. He probably don't know me, but that motherfucker right there got swag when he plays the game. And I seen one of his videos, and this is how he played it. So I was like, you know what, bro? If anybody ever plays me in the Alakines defense, I'm cooking with it. I'm cooking with it. So like, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. E4, and like I said, Alakine's defense. We push the pawn, he jumps in, and then C4. And usually, it's D4 is the move, but no. <laughs> no. We switching it up. A4 immediately. There are two moves that they're going to play is A5 or right here. So they can move the knight if I push. He elects A5, and now, bro, oh, rook A3. Rook A3, it looks like a foolish move. It looks like a foolish move, but... It's not, it's not that bad. Look at that. Only a point two negative. And it takes everyone out of everything they know. It takes everybody out of everything they know. He develops the knight. And now I play d4. Okay, we're cool. He pushes e6. Getting ready to hit the, the rook. And I'm like, brother, swing it over. I want the rook, rook on g3. Low-key, rook on e3 is better. Rook on e3 is better, supports the center, but rook on g3, just like, bro, if you ever castle short, you're cooked, bro. I'm, I'm gonna have two rooks there. I'm gonna have two rooks there. So what are you doing? He plays d6, and here I probably shouldn't take, because bishop just takes with tempo immediately, but I take, and instead of taking with the pawn, he takes with the, instead of taking with the bishop, he takes with the pawn. Look, it's one moves. It's one move. You got to be so accurate when you play this variation of it. You got to be very accurate. So what do I play here? I just developed the knight. Knight c3. I got to start getting my other pieces out. My opponent plays g6. G6 and I'm like, "Okay, let's just develop knight f3." He and kettles and I'm like, "Bro, I I can't resist it. I literally can't. h4. I can't resist. It. I'm expecting him halfway to go h5. But he plays e5 and I'm like, "Mm." Should I shut it down? Yeah, let me shut it down. Let's shut it down. I don't want nothing. Better move would be bishop g5. And I kept looking at this, but I was just looking at pawn push here. I guess it's weakening his king. And then I just come back here. Take, 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 take. But I didn't really, I didn't really acknowledge that in the game. I didn't see the bishop come there to go back. I was like, why would I go there if I could just develop to the, one of these squares? But instead, I just push. He jumps the knight in. And now I go h5. I'm knocking on the door. He develops the bishop. Looking at this check. But I'm like, bishop e2. Bishop g5 is still the best move. But I was like, I don't want to get checked and run to the middle. I'd rather go bishop e2. And if I get checked, just run to f1. Because f1 looks pretty safe. He gives the check. Wrong move. Look at that. Wrong move. 2,000 ELO not knowing how to play the game. King F1. Step to the side. What are you doing? Now he centralizes the rook. And I, I have a 2.3 advantage. And I find the first move. Knight to H4. I was like, okay. I'm threatening to take and take. He finds the best move. Knight D4. I'm like, ah, oh, damn. I didn't, I didn't peep that. Maybe I take. But then he takes. In the for the longest, how long did I spend contemplating this move? Well, I spent like probably a couple minutes, like or a minute, just thinking, should I take that? But I was like, why would I take that if I'm just gonna get hit with tempo? But that's okay, getting hit with tempo because the rook wants to go to h3 and just have a bulldozer here. Instead, I play bishop to g4, trying to trade off his bishop, pinning it. But he hits me with bishop c2, and I'm like, damn, okay. I really only got a couple squares to go to here or here. If I go here, he takes this pawn with check. So queen e1. And now rook takes. And I was also like, okay, well, his rook's hit this whole time. But he takes c4. I'm like, damn, I'm losing everything. I'm losing everything I got. What do you do when you start losing? Fire away. Back against the wall. You ain't got nothing left to do. So the, this, this was working. Like I had a great position and I fucked it up. Now let's see how I recalibrate myself readjust myself and secure the dub f4 let's go not the best move not the computer hates it but f4 
They want knight takes a4. But what does he do? He just castles. He respects it too much. I'm not going to take. We playing for, we playing for tricks. Oh, first I take I take this pawn because I want to open up my rook. And he takes with the h pawn. I'm like, "Bro, what? Why would you not take with the f pawn? Have your rook open on here cuz my next move is going to be f5." F5 just boy, I'm knocking on that door. Take, 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 take. Brother. Brother, brother, brother. He takes with the knight. Uh-uh. Knight takes. Bishop takes. Bishop takes. Pawn takes. Bishop h6. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm winning this. But he has rook g4. He has rook g4, and now we have a simple tactic right here. Uh, Well, I I baited him with the tactic. I'm not going to lie. Because he, he can play it. Bishop takes bishop. Bishop takes bishop. If you take with the rook, you're cooked. So you have to take with the king. But my opponent thought that he could run. He plays rook takes bishop in his m5. And let me tell you something right here. I smell that. I smell it. Rook takes. King takes. Queen check. Oh, you think you running? You think you running? If I give this check, you run. And you're safe. Bishop h4 check. And now it's m2. King g7. Check here. Back mate. Or here mate. And he gets checkmated on his dome piece. Don't play me in no Alakine's defense no more, y'all. Don't play me in no Alakine's defense no more because I'm coming with that motherfucking huh, huh, step tween variation. People want to call that the Emery Tate variation. The Will Taylor chess variation. No. That's the step tween variation right here. We playing the step tween. But let's go through where we fucked up. Like, look. We fine. That was a mistake. But they wanted it on rookie three. That's okay. He pushes. Pawn takes. And he misses here. Now I developed the knight. Everything's good. H4. Shutting it down. Okay, if we go here and he goes here, is that just completely weakening? Yeah, bishop b3. Okay. They still wanted bishop e5. See, that was a mistake. They wanted me to take, take, and just go here. They're saying he castles, then I take, f takes. Why can't I just chop that immediately? They want g4 immediately. Knight in, and then take. Okay, and just like be up upon and crazy attacking. Okay, I see that. I see that now. Now I'll know. Now I'll know. Blunder, and we had M5 on his dome piece. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like more of these videos. Like, cause my road to GM is more live, and I'm not. I'm not adamant. I don't got that crazy energy. But let me tell you something. When I make these videos, the energy is off the charts. So let me know what y'all miss. If I should dabble in both. If I should focus more on one. Man. But like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.